Hey, Jack. Violence. Hey, rat. Jack. Right? You guys ready for me to play Dial Town and react to classic uh, direct doggo game nonsense? <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Arrow keys. Okay. Oh, okay. It's his doggo. We. It is dog. Just gonna put that over there. Moving my water bark. Cool. Move my water mark so y'all can actually read the text. <laughs> Me. 
Can you... Alright, I'll get you some food real quick. Ugh. What do you want? Okay, now we can start. <laughs> Ooh. Questions three. Phone gingy. <laughs> Go the Karen route. She pretty. I, I don't know who that is, but okay. Fungingi. Fung, fung, fungingi. Fungingi. Uh, should I just do my name or should, should I do something stupid? <laughs> She's a printer head. I know. Oh wait, I know what I'm gonna do. A lizard boy. <laughs> Gotta be a typewriter to do a route. Oh, we get to choose what our head is? But <laughs> hey, don't judge. <laughs> Direct doggos judging right me. Corvid, but he's a phone guy. <laughs> I should draw that, maybe. Alternate universe Corvid. Oh, hun. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Hey, even though it's- yeah. Doggo, what is- <laughs> Doggo. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh I was not expecting jump scares in this game. Second question. Phone or a typewriter? I need some nectar. G Man. <laughs> G man. Do do. Yo, that's Gary man. These numbers are not F. F to pay respects. It's violin eyeball. Oh, dog man. I've got. G, cat, pie, music, ah, typewriter. I... 
I don't know which shoes I both like and dislike both of them. Uh, what? It's what everyone's saying, so. Haha, <laughs> nice. What? Imagine being a nasty Kyla phone. Typewriter means. Enjoy having to use your own head to write. <laughs> Wait, does choosing this dialogue option actually make you go back? Joy <laughs> is having to use your own head to write fan fiction. <laughs> you aren't giving me a lot of great options here, sir. Advanced results. Ooh, rainbow. Okay. Ugh. So I can't just mix and match. <laughs> Should we got with him? Uh Exit. Yui. Uh, I might just restart. Okay, I'm just gonna. Close the game. Restart. <laughs> All right, then. Oh, sales are final. <laughs> 
And he must choose, and he's a hobo. No. Carrier pigeon. Carrier pigeon. I'm tempted to do neutral just for the carrier pigeon, but I'm gonna go with ask. Do not question the hound. All right, all right. I wish to give direct doggo pats, but I'm also scared. I pressed the wrong button. I don't know, can you? Alright, then get out of my sight. Okay then. Is stuff happening? <laughs> okay, that looks funny. Bird. Printer lady. You sinful creature. <laughs> And what's with direct doggos games and playing as living corpses? Yeah. <laughs> oh, they got stitches on them chest, and. Lots of <laughs> everyone loves a good zombie man to relate. Cool. Why does he have multiple? It's <laughs> like he's been shot, it's got cut open. He's got <laughs> lots of. <laughs> because he can't. It just broke his wrist. <sighs> hmm. Romance, <laughs> any ladies? What? My 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 fervent and right. <laughs> Getting ready to hatch. Oh, yeah. Of course, we're playing as the most cursed being in really, existence. I think I just won one of the auctions. Uh, the time for reproduction. Pretty sure you have to go through the mailbox. Uh, honestly, I should have known what I'm getting myself into by playing a it game made I... by Doggo. The auction ended, and it said I was still fun, and my money had Flotans. Back, so. Must find a dark dark pit to leave, I think so. <laughs> uh, gosh. Fairground. Green. Fairground is dark and dank and greasy. Plenty supply of carnival food nearby. Yes. We can see with an egg for head. <laughs> Do it. Make the egg head OC. You see that? I love object head characters. They're so fun.
We must go to the carnival. Or TV heads, TV heads. If I don't find them hot, then it's like this after. <laughs> Oh, well, there we have it. The carnival. Okay. So close yet so far. I thought you'll find a little way good on. I don't know, Jack. I made a character whose head is literally like just a rectangle and he has one eye, and people said he was hot. <laughs> said that if I had a full inventory, I'd go to the mailbox. The inventory isn't full. Like, I didn't get a... I said auction times zero. Green and purple. Top bitter me. Joker? But, like, there was no collect button. There was only... Buster, mm -hmm. I better get my guy. I can't mm -hmm. get object I head, really. Object head's pretty. I agree. So you know what you would find the uh. <laughs> Must gain entry. Should I try to do a voice for um, Corvid or should I just use my own voice? What do you think happened? Alright, I need to figure out a voice. What do you think happened? <laughs> Right. Just someone, like, uh, sure. <laughs> you bunch of stock photos. Must penetrate the defense. Much must penetrate. Must penetrate defenses a mile high, high railings. It's not even. It's not even a different voice. Really. I could do a scout voice. I could just do scout TF2. Bonk. Do you even know who you're talking to? Uh, <laughs> uh, us now have best guns in game. I'm gonna headbutt you. I'm gonna headbutt you. I'm now the top bidder on a guy caught chain carbine. I don't know what you guys really? think of for a voice. Scout Corvid Lizard Time. <laughs> you really care whether it's a carbine or a pistol? Ooh. Oh, Should I try and do a scratchy you voice? Like, horn? how you think a crow would talk? Must penetrate defenses. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Must. <laughs> I am not a voice actor, if you can't tell. A Tony. Pick the funniest one and go with that. But I also want it to, like, actually fit. Or have an A tier primary with a S tier secondary and a C tier other secondary. Uh, so you want to do this more working one? Must penetrate defenses of mile high railings. It'll fit just you eight. Also, really. What? What if I what if I just do the scout voice? No. What if I, that's the one I can do the best, Five. most consistently. What? I'll ju I'll just do scout voice. On. Scout. I must so penetrate the defenses of these mile high railings. Main, those railings are hardly a mile high. Bastard narrator, I and need lay eggs! Okay, that kind of lost the scout for a bit, but. Bonk. Do we even know who you're talking to, we? <laughs> 
No, I'm gonna headbutt you. I'm gonna headbutt you. Oh, you could always, you know, go through the main gate. Plan so crazy, it might just work. <laughs> Should I slow down with my reading or? Greetings, ticket buffoon. Okay, what should I should I do a voice for the other characters or My name is Jerry, but okay, sir. How can I help you today? I wish to gain entrance, Jerry of the ticket booth. But don't the guy talks actually. Well, you wish to buy a ticket, sir? Nah, that's fine. I don't want to piss behind any of the rides this year. I simply oh, wish to find a f cool. fetid hole to lay Why my eggs in. I'm losing the scout voice. Bonk! You know who you're talking to? <laughs> Bonk! Okay, you definitely need to buy a ticket from us if you want to do that. Rants! How much would that cost? Two dollars. Fudge. I only have zero. Tell me, young squire. <laughs> That's not a scout voice. Bonk. Tell me, young squire. Would you accept tales, stories, and other such whimsical parables as payment? No. No, I would not. Ah, shoot. Oh, no, so, I was so close, too. Hey, wait a minute. Aren't you that creep who lives in that tent next to the playground at the park? <laughs> I can't tell if my voices are actually being consistent or not. <laughs> should I keep doing them or should I just give up? <clears throat> that switching, I think, is making it harder to stay consistent. Like, do you think I should sell? Keep buff. doing them? Okay. Oh no, my cover's been blown! <laughs> no, that was not Scout. Bonk! Oh, yeah, I'm gonna headbutt you. Less, yeah, yeah, I'm uh, gonna. Oh no, my cover's been. <laughs> still not a Scout voice. No, my cover's been blown. Look, sir. I'm only telling you this because your stench is gonna drive away customers. Yeah, only, I let you wait around here, I need mean, it. And inhibit it for any longer. It's Valentine's Day today. Apparently, they're planning on getting the Val or Ram. It's a day designed by the chocolate flowers industry, where single dads drink a bottle of gin for dinner. <coughs> Wait, why am I explaining this to you? You're barely sentient. I am too. We both know that's a lie. Look, sentience and drunk and single at dads aside. Valentine's Day is day for people who are, you know, in love. Love? What a gas. What a gas green earth is that? I'm losing the scout, boys. Uh. Love is well. <laughs> Love is what happens when two grown ups start craving more than just business handshakes and platonic ice cream breaks. Love makes two people want to go on romantic ice cream dates and drink all kinds of exotic elixirs and nectars together. Ah. <coughs> <coughs> uh. I'm gonna ruin my throat by doing these voices. <laughs> when two grown ups are in love, they make joint bank accounts together and go to the movies together to feed popcorn kernels to the rats and cockroaches there. And then one day, if you're lucky, your partner will take the kids away forever and go marry Steve, the guy in your accounting firm who works in the same cubicle as you, make 6% more per year than you, and you can finally have a good night's sleep. That's what love, my scary. That's love, my scary friend. 
He's doing the finger point thing. The little the finger taps. <laughs> Romance cherry. I don't think you can. Speaking of which, we have a promotion on today, just for Valentine's Day. Two tickets for the price of one, for couples who are in love. If you can somehow convince someone to bring you here, you can, I don't know, force them to pay you in like a parasite. Granted, it'd take a real bastard to mission acquired. Oh, God. Must source mate. Okay, uh, go do that. Away from me. <laughs> Which option, guys? Third one. Hey, Dick and Jerry, are you by any chance free on Valentine's Day? <laughs> I, will, I, will, <clears throat> I will call the police. Route lost. Sad. This is gonna work. No, yeah, you can't romance Jerry. Chapter One The Fun Fair Date. Doggo Direct Doggo's real good at Photoshop. <laughs> Ah, tent sweet tent. I know all function member of society to latch on to like a parasite. You'll have to leave your tent, you know. <laughs> Which option? <laughs> Cause all of these are great. Even when necessary. Can I just lay my eggs here? Keep in mind, this tent freely occupies a relatively unwatched patch of grass at Dile Town, Dial Town's local park. AKA, you are dangerously close to at least four swans at any given moment while in this squalid tent. <coughs> swans can be aggressive. Would your babies really be safe in here? Ah. You're right. <clears throat> I'm losing the scout voice. <laughs> Bonk! Bonk! I hate it when you're right. <laughs> Bring up the menu at any point using the escape key. Including... Each week options and save the game at any point. Something. Here's what might may get you arrested or killed. Okay. <laughs> what the is that? No, that keep doing. It. Okay. Uh. 
add on. Weapons World War 3 will be fought with. I'm not a genius. <laughs> Socks with sandals. I have no clue. It's likely much worse than saying. Would you like to go? Hmm. Where to go? Water. Hydrate your day, Drake. I think I'm gonna go to the park since it's the closest. Ah, the park. You could go around in the nice spring grass, unless you mind getting it. Scattered syringes stuck in your arm. Oh. So, what now? Um. <laughs> Shut. Jerry didn't work in the end of it. Uh. Ah, isn't this just tranquil? Good way to get in the big city. Two yards further away from. Yeah, the peace one just really helps unclench the old sphincter. Sure. Why don't I do this more often? Usually, the guys who played with blades, syringes, and other. Well, it's a good thing that. Yikes! Is that a butter knife? Ouch. Yeah, I think I can see a scratch or two, alright. A scratch or two? This is why <laughs> Well, technically, syringes are completely bad made in use, so like. Silence narrator! Yeah, you might want to find 10 for a few of those little scrapes if you can. You listen to this. Oh, but strangers grow in fields. Is it even remotely <laughs> uh, I figured something was gonna. Yes. Man, back to the park we go then. Ah, uh, the playground. As long as you stay exactly 25 feet from the perimeter of the this zone of environment, you should be the only prosecutable. <laughs> Where did you send me, Jack? <laughs> it 
egg. I'm over you. What? The fact that you drink radioactive water on purpose. Radiation. That's not a joke. Egg. Mm, radioactive water. Mmm, yummy. <laughs> so, what now? Measure the ground. Twenty-five point oh five feet away. Perfect. Perfect. That sounds like a Dave voice. <laughs> There's like a bit deeper. Some of the child. Uh, no. That might be a good time to reflect on child labor laws and why you're no longer legally allowed to get in closer to this very playground to get in the first place. Sure. I refuse to learn any lessons. Right here. I don't think summoning the child's gonna be a good idea. So I'm gonna... Baby Childer, child. Come gather around, child. <laughs> Little Billy. Hey, bozo. <laughs> Can I help you? Child. Yeah, I'm a child. What of it? I'm 4 7, smell like grass, despite never touching it due to me having a grass. Oh, and I take my crystal meth licorice. <laughs> <They're laughs> <standing on> <laughs> no! The child is doing math. Bad. Bad child. I never know what to expect from direct doggo games. Uh, this is just making me want to play the DSAF games even more. Kids grow up so fast nowadays. Meth <laughs> child. I remember when I was your age. You're a hatchling. My tail had my tail? Yo, we got a tail. Waiting on that bad boy to regrow, but once it does, oh, there will be a tail. Okay, scary green man. Green. Say, aren't you not allowed within 25 feet of this year playground? Drugs on you. I measure the ground before summoning you. Just within responsibly marginal, but still legal, distance. Ha. Ah. You're less than 25 feet from me right now, though. Uh, uh. You learned about teachers and numbers at school yesterday, so eat your reptile brain, but you won't. Work on me this time. <laughs> Double jokes on you, you. Well, it says that I can't get within 25 feet of the playground. Not the little skirts contained within its confines. <laughs> Technically, you approached me. I win. So, if I go back to the side, you won't be able to talk to me without shouting? Okay, see you later then. Please know I need it. <laughs> what even is this interaction right now? Uh, it's supposed to be a dating sim? It's just the demo, but... That is not a thing. <laughs> According to direct talk, it's just everyday things, you know, the usual. 
This is the question about the birds and the bees, and I'm sorry, but my dad got really angry when I asked him about that before you. Turns out, stuff get Nazi and <laughs> birds. <laughs> it's not that questions. Then what is it? <laughs> the new cool words. Oh man, cool is the new drool. <laughs> what you need are some qualities. <laughs> oh, I didn't know. <laughs> no, anything. <laughs> Coward. <laughs> Let's see, what do kids eat? Are you trying to lure more kids away from way to clean your tent again? No. You are, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> lure. No, I'm not learning slurs. Uh now answer the question you previously said. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Well, personally I consume an exclusive Diet of glitter, modeling clay, chocolate milk, and chicken nuggets. Like most kids, <laughs> glitter, modeling clay, chocolate, glitter, and modeling clay. Mabel? Mabel, is that you? I write this down. Can't really write. Oh, because you don't have a pen? Sure. Um, dog, slice man. So, what else do you want? The puzzle. <laughs> the glitter is in me. <laughs> Not the kids can be able to get us into the fair, so. That's going to be seriously begging from children now. We sunk that low. Beef. Oh well. My bones are still forming, and yet I have more sophisticated sense of humor than you. <laughs> Dang. Please internalize this information thusly. <laughs> Kids nowadays. Ugh. Kid, we just drank lead paint and threw rocks at <laughs> Is that why you're green? No, I was green long before I had such slip. <laughs> but you're right, I not, had I not been before. Probably would have turned green afterwards. <laughs> Alright, you done then? <laughs> Let's see. You have a name, you know. Yeah, and I don't care to learn. <laughs> Be gone, stop dude. <laughs> Christ, this was the most passive aggressive, leaning more towards aggressive conversation I've ever seen in a video game. Just being portrayed so casually. Uh. <laughs> Downtown dial town. Cinemas. Nothing to see here. So, what now? To just get the cross. Talk to local bystander. 
Yo, who is this man? Mikey. Howdy do, green partner. <laughs> Yo, you flip phone. The name's Mikey, which is short for... Actually, scratch that. Mikey works just fine. I love the Lord. Mikey. Angle is that phone at? Me go over tomorrow, hello. Hey, the news. Well, at least you make your acquaintance, partner. He got some southern accent. So, can I do you for on this fine spring afternoon? Oh, whoa, who can you take me to the fun fair place? <laughs> oh, whoa! Time for me to scuttle off then, laters. <laughs> Ah, shucks, partner. I would. Don't get me wrong. But alas, I'm actually on my way to a book signing. You're looking at Dowtown's newest best selling writer. Yo! You're a writer. <laughs> you an author. This fat man has me trying to use you for a free ticket. He's gonna just keep sucking the baby to the fun fair. Why are we being honest about this? <laughs> this is fun to see if you're a listening to Why are you oh, so now, ain't that a coinky tank? All of my best friends happen to be about parasites of all kinds. Who is this man? I love him. <laughs> Won't find a man who knows more about parasitism in all of Dow Town, partner. Speaking of, let me know what I can do for you, because any longer and I'll be running tardy. Are you in about people parasites like a little of me <laughs> uh people you know flesh colored oh, bipedal really critters right flesh colored means nothing to me flesh can be different colors i say i've ever seen it in green I though pardon me i mean <laughs> suppose you want to copy my lady yeah. uh, pictures in it Sure, partner. At least one Whoa. chapter. Yeah. The words would have to read. <laughs> Are we illiterate? Oh, this that'd be funny if we are. <sighs> yeah, I mean, it is a book. Pass, hard pass. Well, shucks. Can't say I didn't try. Is that it then, partner? Why would you put that? Why would you pay that much for that? His stance, his casual stance is like slightly ominous. I didn't think you played a color with Harry Lowe. I did. No, there's a whole lot of screwed up critters up there, and I love all of them. I wouldn't have done it when it's the most. No, there's a There are a little ice pod called the Tongue Louse that lives in the ocean. Oh boy. Crawls into a fish's mouth, rips off the fish's tongue, and then comes its new tongue. Watch the end of this video, it must look like something I totally do. It's in fact main sense theology now. <laughs> Time partner. Okay. Oh. No offense, but I find you mildly upset to be to cock it. The tea get that off. <laughs> Ooh, I understand like nothing that is happening in this game, but it's great. 
Well, if you happen to have, say, a few tapeworms running around in the middle of the cards, give me a call. <laughs> okay. Some hot food. If you do, there might be some free ass but grow up in it before you. It's kinda edible. What kind of creature do you see? You'll look like you probably eat what I have in my little bag. You know, alright, I would just give all can I have some? <laughs> what kind of creature are we? Call me later. Find out, partner. No. Is that all? Yes. Say you're not a yes. partner. Ugh. Painting again. What? Ugh, yes. okay, okay. Why? I don't know. I don't get it either. Ah. Disgusting. Oh, I've tiled down. So creepy. <laughs> Ooh, is this dialogue? <laughs> oh gosh. It's a TV head. Uh -huh. Yo. Hey, nice to meet you, friend. <laughs> oh gosh. He. <laughs> Name's Hound. You need something. He's a little too well put together to be a hobo. <laughs> You're indeed a hobo. Oh, yeah, I do be so desperate. <laughs> 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 it's kinda like... <laughs> Everything around you right now, and shrouded up the cosmos and the stars. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of a big deal, actually. <laughs> well, yeah, most things. But not everything. Well, yeah, you guys did some of the work, to be fair. In the society. Uh, not great. You ever, like, leave a tank at Fax and record your room and forget to Fax when you find a new species of ball from the range of the Shikantai Curry from last month? <laughs> oh, boy. Kick me out. Oh, this is my tank at Fax and I'm the hungry with your gears and your poly from the possibility and disgust and all that. Nice to meet you. Cute chunk right now. Is it 11 a.m. yet? Big and moving, so yes, it must be at least moved. Move. Then I'm indeed moments away from severe liver failure, yes! <laughs> it's your favorite hobby. You ever eaten broken glass with shiny rocks before? I don't recommend it, but still, don't knock it till you've tried it. <laughs> I'm partial to the taste of gravel myself. Gravel? What are you? Some kind of weirdo? At least forage for normal things to eat if you're gonna scavenge. Like broken glass and shiny rocks? Let's see. There we go. <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> Punch. <laughs> what is a traffic cop to a gun? <laughs> Glass tasty, no, bad. 
Do not, do not eat glass. <laughs> Honestly, no judgment there, pal. Don't really believe really stuff either, to be frank. I must need to go back then. I'm gonna come with the reason for all this existing. Do you remember why you created theaters? Do not eat glass. These guys. I don't remember when I eat this I probably eat trash knowing me. So can you like come up with the meaning of life right now? Uh, <laughs> don't you come up with the meaning of life? I'd probably be a million times more coherent than what I could think of. Good, do not actually eat glass. It'd be really bad for you. This one. Okay, nah. <laughs> That's an inspired three year old's best guess. Hey. Eat or be eaten too late, sorry. It's more like you to do skateboard tricks and eat hookers. <laughs> and eat hookers. <laughs> or some of them jokes. I said you need more coherent. I said more likely. This is my universe for doing with the forget. No! No more. No. <laughs> Can you pay me into the fun fair? I have a friend. One, maybe two dollars? Do I look like I have about two dollars right now? I <laughs> should control reality. Yeah, I'm not gonna punch him. No, I'm not gonna punch him. Control reality. It's <laughs> happening on this. We call it Earth right now. Do you honestly think I have a clue what's going on? What it? You gotta be guy for it. <laughs> Save the number. I. Okay. <laughs> I feel threatened. He's threatened. Okay, I feel I'm just. <laughs> okay, crisis verdict? Win this round, green one. <laughs> I don't understand anything that's happening. <laughs> I ain't gotta get going. Going so soon, eh? It's the rush. Which <laughs> Interruption because all of these are beautiful. <laughs> Gotta lay some eggs. <laughs> First talk. Oh, hey. One of those reptiles has a few million years so years ago. Not just, just saying. <laughs> you guys are weird. <laughs> 
don't even God judges you. <laughs> You're like conquering the human race and whatnot, though. They'll never see it coming. <laughs> but who are humans in this world? Like, um, Chow. Like to go. <sighs> people with the local, the normal people with phones, for it's good. Bank. Okay. The bank, really? Why is the bank? Silence, it's my love quest. Because mostly the eggs find the love. <laughs> Drink the milk of human kindness and all that jizz. <laughs> Our brand new sentence right there. We have like six samples, why not just exchange your own? <laughs> Humankindness probably isn't meant to be the same color as Consistency is at milk still. Nectar <laughs> consistency. Right. Thanks. What does that even mean? So, uh, what would you like to do? I'm going to. Teller. Oh. Hello, sir. Welcome to the Tao Town City. I didn't even get to read all that. I didn't even get to read all of what she said. Hello, sir. Welcome to the downtown city. My name is Karen Dunn. How can I help you to You're green. Yeah, what about it? <laughs> Hello, nice to meet you. Yeah. Uh, apologies if this comes off this rude. Were you born like that? Okay, sorry. That probably was a rude question to ask you. <laughs> she looks so uncomfortable. <laughs> Or a container before it lays <laughs> Right, yes, okay, thank you for clearing that up. Born is really a nice way to Now, were you hoping to make a transaction, sir, or? Exactly is money. <laughs> Look, sir, I often fear to detect sarcasm, but come on, surely that's a jest. <laughs> Fantastic. Is that all then? Karen isn't trying to be rude. No. I can buy what exactly? And are you free tonight? 
I... What is this? What are you asking? Can I help you? Also, she and Ken has Asperger's wishes. Yeah. <coughs> Firstly, never call me that again, thanks. Secondly, wait. What did I ask you out on a date? You're asking out on a date? I don't understand. What well, is Valentine's Day here? <laughs> I, I knew that. <laughs> is it really the 14th already? So I say if ticket Jerry, yes. She just drugged. So wait, you asking me out for Valentine's Day on some kind of date? I mean, yeah. Well, I mean Yeah, I could let you take me out for Valentine's Day, sure. But why are you asking me of all people? <laughs> She's like, someone asking me on a date? No, can't be. Okay. Up and <laughs> you want me to take those off? Where have you What? Sorry, I was reading a message from my friend. Of her favorite niece. <coughs> you okay. You're not helping with None of these are great, but I think the third one might be the worst. Because your hands are poop. Don't get to help with it. Uh, I, I don't know which option is the best. Uh, at least not literally. Oh boy, that makes me feel wanted. God, is that what I meant? Well, say what you meant. Don't beat her on the bush. <laughs> she got a horse on her, like a little horse thing. Surely you can see that I'm different. You have green skin, half a dozen nipples, and don't even get me started on one of your head is crapped in it. He likes horses on oh, nice. these. <sighs> sorry, ma'am, I'm sorry, I exist. <laughs> Wanna go outside, Aries? Wanna go outside? <sighs> Do horses not have objects for heads in this game? Alright, alright, <laughs> I get it. You do seem to be relatively comfortable around me. Hello. It's actually not all that common. Pal, have you seen the kind of customers I get on a daily basis? <laughs> when you get to the fun fair, the only ride she's comfortable with is the merry-go-round. Nice! I mean, merry-go-round's fun.
The last three dudes before you came in were a Shiba Inu, a hobo, and a woman who had to do it in BDSM with her animal costume on a leash accompanying her. Accompanying her. This which one pissed on the floor. Oh god. You weird, but you're not day ruining weird. Okay, fine. <laughs> no. No. I am not doing the first one. See? This the vengeance for heads. Oh. Interesting. Well, and glass, so I can't really smell you. <laughs> you do look like you smell weird though. <laughs> Granted, that's probably true. I do have a bunch of scrolling my presents at all times. <laughs> yeah, that's a good way to get some go out with you. <laughs> See, the thing is, downtown's a weird place. Oh, the world's a weird place. <laughs> the way I see it, since everyone's weird, maybe no one is. Plenty of time with school falls. Weirdos who simply wind up in the wrong place at the wrong time, you know? I like the music in this game. Uh, so, no, I don't see it so much. Just a cryptid that's to actually kind of talk me into this somehow. <laughs> Engine-headed horses. Man, surely you must get out of work. Might be a cure for your boredom. A second reason? No, please. Like, do better than me. Beat your guests in an ape like Tom and Fetch. One or two, because those are the only options I'm gonna choose. Pick one, be this year. Why would I want to leave the one thing that allows me to put food on the table? Sorry, I'm just presuming to, you know, you sit in the same spot talking about forms and paper all day, every day. Doesn't sound particularly every day. Oh, hi. Look, this is the niche that needs to be filled. My enjoyment is completely irrelevant. But it doesn't mean you get. Yourself, though. I don't know. It is Valentine's Day, Karen. Okay, fine. You're right. We can hang out later, I guess. Gnarly! <laughs> yes! <laughs> we scored a date. How does the fun fair suit you? I'd rather pretty much anywhere else, if I'm being honest. It's kinda really moist and loud. <laughs> like, makes this. It's fun! Quiet, dry, and sanitary places can be fun too. I've never seen the front end in <laughs> Okay, from fair then, I guess. Uh, yeah. I'm just like, All I'm about right. ready to cut out that section of Away we go. Away we don't go. It shift just an end for it. She turns at 6 p.m. Like, it'll likely take me a good 30 minutes to reach the front fair. Give or take, not counting traffic and potentially getting hit by a bus or like. Kidnapped. We'll say 6 30 p.m. for the sake of something. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> I'm gonna turn this music down.
Great snakes, that's hours away. What misfortune. Yeah, does that mean I have to stand here like hundreds of minutes? Well, no. My vessel will be letting you away for that length of time, I did say. Do not be late, please. I won't be late. So you can wait for me wherever you want. Just not here. <laughs> Alright. That is quite the question. Or should you wait? My turn will be off work for a good few hours. It's true. Uh, so should I go home or should I, uh, go to the fair and wait there? Take it, Jerry. <laughs> right, to that sort of branch of a man that you insist on torturing me <laughs> to give it any presents. Jerry. Ticket Jerry. <laughs> I know why. What, where's my ticket of repellent? I need to. Please, I implore you. Violet Demon. I'm tired and near death. Surely there's another tired tertiary sector where someone's ordinate nest in a town that you could bother even at as relentlessly as you have me. Oh, poor Jerry. Beating of Chris. <laughs> Tired, I get, but how do you know that you're near to death? Well, my bones never squeaked before yesterday. <laughs> uh, and I had an x-ray done on me recently, and I can now say for a fact if there's a good bit of dust inside me. Duh. <laughs> There's a, that's a called turning 30. We are reduced in thought, but test one day. Are you just attempting to be witty, or are you somehow aware that I'm celebrating my 38th birthday recently? <laughs> hey, Aries. Hello. You wanna go outside? So the theories cake I found earlier today yours. Why were you forging through the contents of the fairground <laughs> dust? <laughs> Let's see if any single fairgrounds are out there extra get one for <laughs> Also, you know, free food. I see, I see. Please don't use the cake to extract the DMI family members super perfect and suffering clones of them in the main hub. <laughs> Scarmy, not just to let you into the fun fair without fair existence. What? Wow, that sounds like a novel idea. It's pretty that my IQ is greater than 3, but less than 17, though. Also, vanilla sponge, Jerry, Lee. Maybe live alone. I, I'll have you know that my wife made the cake. Your wife is a judge. <laughs> she was simply after finish the revolution. <laughs> uh, no, you. Uh, are you seriously something to intimidate me with a familiar old threat smell? Will you? <laughs> I would never hurt you, Jerry. I like to wipe my options before giving a definite I love changes. Oh, Jerry needs a break. Speaking of cake, this is making me want to eat some cake. 
Look, sir, this is simple. Find someone to take you here, and voila, you're gonna explore the first of report to gain entry. <laughs> this is out of my hands. My boss has me legally registered as a as a houseplant and has watering me down on his tax forms as a work expense. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh, his boss is awful. I couldn't be on a lower rung here. Chris. If I told you that I do have someone to take me, well, then I'd mostly just respond with a vocal disbelief since you waited this late into the conversation to tell me that. I am pretty sure I'm glad. Yes. Yes. Okay, so. Where's your date then? She's not here yet, Jerry. Give it time. <laughs> yeah, speaking of time, do you know what time your date's arriving at? She said she'd arrive about 6 30 p.m., give or take. It's barely past noon. What are you doing here? Go, <laughs> shoot. No can do, hombre. <laughs> You'll just like the entire ticket booth when I'm gone or something. <laughs> just as absurd. If I could move the ticket booth in it, its entirety, sir, then what'd stop you from simply running through the gaping ticket booth side of this toll that he left in our perimeter's defenses? <laughs> uh, we really are like a little. Stupid lizard man. <laughs> Fairground snipers? Huh. Do you mind if I take that idea down for the next time I see my boss? <laughs> you doing the you doing the finger thing again? Do mind I hate being I do mind, I hate being shot at. Look. Just go home, get some rest, maybe freshen up for your day. Or rather, in what I'd imagine be a typical place for you, come back even stickier than you are now. <laughs> Stupid lizard, beloved. <laughs> the fun fair will still be here when you get back. I will still be here when you And heck. Maybe your date will be too. Well, sir. It's Valentine's Day for me too. The server breaks up. Okay, despite the voice I did for him earlier, I can't stop, like, mentally hearing him talking in the phone voices used in all the DSAF games. <laughs> and it makes me laugh. Alright, alright, I'll see you at 6.30 p.m. I am a tree, I am rooted to the spot. <laughs> so... Oh, thank phone god. <laughs> 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 My home sweet. Oh, okay, maybe not as such. Sweet in the same way that a decomposing rabbit that soaked in vinegar would. Yes. So, not at all. Precisely, yes. That, and you know, it smells like pee. You made this right, right? <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> Ew. You stuff that. Sure, right on. Man, yeah, man. Oh, let's see it to go on thoughts, right? Corbin Moore. You okay, bud? The <laughs> really his things. <laughs> I didn't even get all of them. 
So. This has been a truly ghastly experience. I'm already supposed to be the most wretched of insights. <laughs> you really do need constant stimulation at all times, don't you? Why could I say you know how I'm you stealish? You okay accomplished for me this disembodied voice. The lizard is neurodivergent, I repeat. The lizard is neurodivergent. Other people who call them. <laughs> Do you see much difference? Those individuals hardly count as human, though. <laughs> Despite their stupid legend, it is me on some level. <laughs> yeah. Same. There's not a lot of options here that I would like actually. Hey. <laughs> I liked the stupid thing. <laughs> Checkmate. Just know that I'm not dirty talking to you. And the last thing I need for your resolutions is to play push your eggs out of your <laughs> and in the plot future. I too what? need to lay eggs on a tank turret. You know. Just kidding. Please don't tell me actually have those. <laughs> <Doesn't it? laughs> this game is gonna kill me. <laughs> hey, look, I had a distraction. Please don't force me to be late. Is that a fridge bug? Distraction? You don't mean a cockroach? Those aren't mutually exclusive, you know? Cockroaches can be distracted. The cockroaches are just walking fridges! <laughs> wonder what they have inside. <clears throat> Dude, fridges. Rats with antenna, I say. It's a good thing they don't tend to get much bigger than this, right? Not usually, no. Good son. <laughs> You're not gonna... No. <laughs> Not even you would. Oh my god. Despicable. I have no regrets. We ate the fridge roach. I should have numerous regrets. Well, I don't. My life has been a show of unexistence. <laughs> Tower of mistakes built upon a foundation of war crime. Lay off me, man. I live in a tent. An empire of dirt. It's fine, man. Grass grows from it. <laughs> Worms are neat, too. You just ate a cockroach. You didn't even season it. You think I have salt? What am I? A Roman legionnaire seconds after perceiving their soul. So good. How do you not know what Grav's primary function is yet have enough trivial knowledge to know how the Roman Empire paid their soldiers? <laughs> wow. How long have you been around? I gotta, I gotta have a friend. Cease. It's fun bow time. Stop saying that. Ah, uh, me nectar. Stop calling it that. Time to get splooched. Totally schmickin' with her. Is it gonna let me not? Stop talking. <laughs> Stop talking, I beseech you. Also, shouldn't you stay sober for your date? Girl, you hardly want to check too much of that list. You're that great. Sticky and syrupy and smell like a toddler's fever drink. Help my nerves. What nerves? Your comments can be. In fact, if you get any calmer, your sphincter you wrestles my unclench right here, right now. This sure. Don't do it, Gordor. Is it. I hope it lets me not. Come on, dude, don't do that. Don't make Jerry a guy. Don't make Jerry a thing. <laughs> uh, I don't want to. I don't. I hope it doesn't force me. Is it Jerry? 
aside from like performing a function in society. Well, yeah, aside from it. It's my so for fairy elves. <laughs> so, what else? How is the house somewhere? Just to keep it as long and decent shit. And uh, what else? <laughs> oh, oh, I know this one. I like eat ticks and junk. <laughs> Said society, not ecosystem. I love Jerry so much, why don't you follow him around instead? I would, except Jerry is too long to do here. There's too much weird violence, I need me nectar. No! No, I don't want to! No. No! No, it forced me. Care about your... No. no, I didn't want to. It's the me. The even were. You are a disgrace. Here for an hour. No. Exactly what I. <laughs> oh, we're so drunk. I should have stayed. I know I should have stayed. I'm. I didn't expect this. <sighs> if I load. Same. <laughs> I don't know how to get, let it load, load my save. When I start the Oh crap I think we saved right before talking to Karen. So we're gonna have to go through the Karen dialogue again, but... Yeah, so I'm gonna be nice to her. <laughs> she pretty good. <laughs> yeah, she is. She said she already had that. Uh, that was like If I ask her about her head, I'm 
I'm not gonna risk it. Just say, yeah, I'm like, I'm not gonna. Are we all eating at the table? Okay. Good. I'm actually just about to go because I have to go for dinner. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. So. So I, I meant to play for longer, but I gotta go for dinner. So. See y'all next time. Maybe I might be able to continue later. From Gingi. <laughs> yeah, bye. Gonna Okay. Bye. <laughs>